Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to make a video for a Ramadan series and this video as you can tell by the title is all about why I chose Islam. Despite the title of the video, for me Islam wasn't all about the choice. It was more about knowing who I am and being true to my authentic self. I'm a revert. I am not a born Muslim. So if you watched my how I converted, reverted to Islam uh, video, then you probably know that um, for me, coming to Islam was a bit of a journey. I'm coming from the place literally where there, are, there were no Muslims there. I've never met any Muslim until I was 20 years old. So the first 20, you know, so for the first two decades of my life, I have never been exposed to Islam in any other way than through social media, which of course is a very, very negative view of Islam. Just to understand why why Islam the way I imagine it, envisioned it through the media is so different from the people that I'm meeting, the actual Muslim people, you know, the, the sisters and brothers, they are just so, so nice, so humble, so kind, very down to earth, very, very peaceful and very God loving and fearing people. And I just couldn't understand, I couldn't link the two together. Um, so I started doing the research and my research probably took about four months. Um, and the reason why I even started it is not to sort of see the true Islam, but almost to prove the people that I know that they are wrong. Um, because I felt like I'm right. Because obviously for 20 years I was exposed to a certain image of Islam. And at that time I had this idea in my mind, like, there is no way media can be wrong, right? Like, I, even at that, at some point when I was about 14, 15, I was even thinking to study journalism for quite a long time of my teenage years. So just that idea that media could be that wrong um, was quite unimaginable for me at that point in life. I found myself breaking through every single misconception that I've built through those 20 years of my life. So it took me maybe about uh, four months of studying. So when I say studying, I really mean that I wanted to be fair. I didn't want to see why Western society thinks Muslims do that, but I really wanted to understand why Muslims think they do certain things. So I really had to uh, watch some scholars, uh, read some articles, definitely read the Quran as well. I remember it took me about four months until I was like, wow, like it just blew my mind. I remember it was almost like a light bulb moment, that realization that there is God. Um, so for me, you know, coming from the point of atheism and then four months really just breaking through my own head and breaking through all the misconceptions and coming to the point of peace and stillness and complete realization that there is God. It's also important to tell you guys that as a child, I was a Christian and I actually believed in God. In order really for me to unlink myself from Christianity, I had to prior study it and actually truly understand because I'm the type of person like if I don't understand something I'll go all in up with all my energy and I will try to study and figure out what's 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 happening there. So that's what I've done and through my studies of Christianity I dissociate myself with it but I still believe in God. Therefore I started studying older monotheistic religion and Christianity which is Judaism. I never met any Jew in my life and I still, as a teenage girl at that age, maybe 16, 17, I started looking into Judaism because I was like, look, if I believe in God, which I truly did at that time, and I am, you know, I believe in one God, um, then it, I must be either a Jew or a Christian, right? At that, at that stage, that's how I thought. Um, and then I, I looked into Judaism and again, there were a lot of concepts that I just, didn't agree with because it felt to me like um, culture came to play a big big role in the way that we practice Judaism today. So I think around that time being around 17-18 I lost all faith, <laughs> you know, I lost my faith in God, I lost even interest of learning anything further and I became a complete atheist. So now coming back to, to when I was around 20 years old um, meeting Muslims and studying about Islam I remember what I loved the most about reading the Quran and sort of learning through the eyes of Muslims is that they always point to the very original source, the 1400 years old book, um, as well as the Hadith of the Prophet and just that passion of, of following our Prophet 
as closely as possible. Doesn't matter that it was 1,400 years ago. Doesn't matter that it was in the middle of the desert. Doesn't matter that it, it you know it doesn't have much of a link to our society the way it's right now with all the digital world. They still try so hard to link every action that they do to the original message of the Prophet and the original message of the Quran. There is only one God. Allah is not a separate, some mystical God. It's a simple word in Arabic which means God. So it, for me, whether I say God or I say Allah, it actually doesn't matter because it, I mean the same thing in two different languages. And that's the same God who gave um, Torah to the Jews, who gave Bible um, to the Christians and who gave Quran to the Muslims that is, as, a, as a Muslims we believe in all of the books 5 then iPhone 6 and this is iPhone 7 it's just an upgraded version of the same path. I totally love Islam and I fell in love with Islam it wasn't a religion it was a way of life. The word Muslim itself means believer in one God follower of one God and Islam as a word in Arabic means peace so for me, Islam is just this peaceful way of life. I was saying that Islam is not really a choice for me. is because I remember after four months of studying Islam and Quran and kind of getting all my misconceptions just shattered in my head and seeing really just the beauty of Islam and the beauty of, uh, of the Quran, I remember just sitting on a bed knowing for damn sure there's God and knowing that as someone who believes in one God, I also believed in the Quran and I also believed in all the prophets, including Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad So I knew that I can't, if you need to label me, I can't be labeled as anything else but a Muslim. So the only really thing for me to do was to take my Shahada in order for me to be able to really live to my potential, to live to my authentic self. I couldn't um, I, it's almost like I couldn't lie to myself. Once I knew the truth, I couldn't unknow it. I couldn't forget about it. So I just took my shahada and I became Muslim. It was five years ago and I never looked back. If you enjoy this type of video, then you came just in time because this whole Ramadan, I'm uploading videos related with Islam. So inshallah, that will be useful. You'll come back. If you haven't already, please click a little bell button so that you get notified once I post a video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.